Should you buy Bitcoin or Ethereum? This is a question a lot of people have. We're getting to the point where you can legitimately say we're in an accumulation phase. But what exactly should we accumulate? Now, there are pluses and minuses to buying Bitcoin or Ethereum right now. And for those of you that are looking to set yourself up to become rich in the future, and by the time where we top out on next bull cycle, you want to have as much money as possible. Well, in this video, I'm going to go over if you should buy Bitcoin or Ethereum and go into the reasons for and against. But before we get on with the rest of this video, please drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this. So if we compare the type of gains you could have gotten if you would have bought Bitcoin or Ethereum, there is quite a big difference in how much you could make more if you just bought Ethereum instead of Bitcoin. So let's just measure and see what kind of gains you would have got if you would have bought the bottom and sold the top of Bitcoin. You would be looking at around a 2000% gain. So a 20x, more or less, and that's that's about right. Now, on the other hand, if we look at the type of gains you could have got buying the bottom and selling the top of Ethereum, we're looking at about 4,500%. So a 45x from the bottom to the top. Now you may be thinking, okay, it's pretty obvious that I should just buy Ethereum in the accumulation phase before next cycle. Not exactly. You can actually make more money buying Bitcoin, and I'm going to explain why and this is crucial for you to understand how the market cycle works. But before we get on with the rest of this video, this video is brought to you by Margex.com. Now, Margex is one of the easiest exchanges to sign up and start trading on. You don't even need to do KYCs. You don't need to show your passport or anything. And it is one of the most safe and secure trading platforms out there. As you can see, the trading terminal is pretty nice and easy to use. The crypto trading platform they have is really easy for beginners to get into. Put how much of your trading accounts you want into a trade here, and then you select leverage. So if you want to up the leverage on the trade by 5x, you can do that all the way up to 100x. And cross margin is available on all assets, meaning if you deposit money, you can just easily trade it at any point and share the capital across any asset you want to trade, like CoinUSD, XRP USD, you can long or short it, it's up to you. There is also no hidden fees, you can simply check out what your fees will be. Margex is very transparent with what kind of fees they charge you per trade. As you can see, the rate for longs is 0.25% and for shorts, it's 0.05%. And you can deposit into a Margex account today with Bitcoin, Visa, MasterCard. But here's where things get wild. If you click the link and register with the link below, you can go onto the wallet page and then use promo code, click this button and enter 015 and you will get a bonus of 15% up to $10,000. If this sounds good to you, click the link in the description below and use the promo code 015. With that being said, let's go on with the rest of the video. So yeah, Ethereum 45x from the bottom to the top of this cycle. But let's have a closer look at this chart. Things aren't exactly as they seem. It's not that simple. If we go back to the Ethereum chart and look at what kind of gains were made at the accumulation phase and the first leg up of the last bull cycle, you will see something very interesting. In this first leg up during the start of the bull cycle, Ethereum bottomed out at $86 and went all the way up to $364. This was pretty much the first sign that the next bull run was happening. During this period, it went up by 320% on the first leg up. That was going from 10th of December to late June. As I mentioned, Bitcoin also bottomed out at around the same time, but during the first leg up, it actually outperformed Ethereum it went up by 330%. So not only was Bitcoin and Ethereum comparable in the gains you could have made from accumulating at the bottom, but Bitcoin actually outperformed the gains that were made by Ethereum by a small amount, but when you consider other factors that I'm about to tell you, you may be even more inclined to buy Bitcoin as opposed to altcoins. The important factor with Ethereum is that it does actually have competitors and serious competitors now. You know, Ethereum is amongst a bunch of killers. There's BNB. This has a market cap of about 40 billion and Ethereum has a market cap of about 150 billion. There's BNB, there's Cardano, there's Solana, Polkadot, Tron, like AVAX, like there's a lot of things gunning for Ethereum's spot. And frankly, 
does a better job than Ethereum at what it's supposed to do. Now, no financial market is 100% rational and buys things according to what exact value it has, as in what kind of value it brings in the real world. But if we're just being real with each other, we know that Ethereum has some big issues and comparing that to some of the competitors, if you guys have ever made a transaction on the Ethereum network when it was peak altcoin season, it was literally like $400, $500 to make one transaction on the Ethereum network. Other networks didn't have that problem. Like there was the BSC network using BNB that was like always under a dollar from what I remember. And then there's like Solana, like there's so many like chains, Polygon, there's so many really, really strong competitors gunning for Ethereum spot. I'm not entirely convinced that next bull run, that the same amount of capital will go into Ethereum as it did in the lead up to last bull run. I, I do think that people are going to be a bit more divided into what altcoin they accumulate because it's not like how it used to be, like the so-called Ethereum killers of the past were nowhere near the level of quality as the Ethereum killers as of today. Like BNB, Solana, Polygon, AVAX, these weren't, re these weren't really a thing in like the public zeitgeist during the lead up to Lost Bull Run. But now people remember what it was like using some of these other chains and I think people are going to be a bit more divided into what they put their capital into. I think the first leg up, like the first sign that we're in a new bull cycle that I just showed you where Bitcoin went up by about 330% and Ethereum went up by 320%. I think Bitcoin will outperform Ethereum even more so during the first leg of the next bull run. The first leg of the next bull run, we might see Bitcoin go up by 2x and this notion of a valid competitor is not a problem Bitcoin has to worry about. Like there is no competitor like actual competitor with Bitcoin, like it is by itself, like it's its own thing. Whereas Ethereum has all these other really, really strong projects gunning for its spot, frankly, is going to divide people in the accumulation phase. Like it's not like how it used to be where there was like four chain and like just nonsense. In terms of like smart contracts, there's a lot of good projects out there that people are gonna wanna accumulate and maybe not so with Ethereum. With Bitcoin, there isn't a competitor, like Bitcoin is itself. It is the store of value in spite of fiat. That is the narrative it holds and there is no competitor for that narrative. This doesn't mean Ethereum won't outperform Bitcoin through the entirety of next bull run. I'm saying in the first leg of the bull run, Bitcoin is going to be more dominant than Ethereum. And that is what happened last time, but I think that will be even more pronounced next time. You'll most likely, if you're holding throughout the bottom to the top, if that's your intention, to make more money just buying Ethereum. But even smarter than that, I think, is buying Bitcoin and accumulating Bitcoin and then trading your Bitcoin for various altcoins that you want to accumulate after that first leg up. Because we know pretty much with certainty that Bitcoin is going to have a strong first leg of the bull cycle. Like we, we kind of know that, right? Like it's a safe bet. So what I'm going to do is look for entry points in the next few months to accumulate Bitcoin. And then after the first leg, then I'll divide my Bitcoin into various altcoins and projects that I want to accumulate. I'm not going to accumulate Ethereum just now. In fact, last bull run, that's pretty much what I did. The Bitcoin I bought, at around 6k. After the first leg up, I then divided it into a bunch of altcoins and that was a pretty good move. I would say in the next few months, it's probably wiser to accumulate Bitcoin. This isn't financial advice. This is literally what I will be doing. But that being said, over the course of the entirety of next bull run, I think it's fair to say that Ethereum will outperform Bitcoin, just not in the first leg. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this.